Hi everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag and in today's video, I will take you to one of the best and all-time favorite Chinese food here in Cebu. So I did some research to find out that Dim Sum Break was established back in 1996. Now it may not seem that long ago, but mind you, they have four brands, namely Ding Hao, Ding Kwa Kwa, Harbor City, and Dim Sum Break. They basically serve the same food but different ambiance and type of service. Ding Hao being the oldest, which was established back in 1969. Ew. <laughs> Dim Sum Break is a modern take on the Chinese restaurants. They've adapted to the modern and urbanized lifestyle in the city. Behold my lunch here in Dim Sum Break. As you can see, I have two steamed rice, one quail egg shomai, one order of lumpia shanghai, or the spring roll. And I also got several dips to complement each dish. Their main and most popular food item to get is their steamed fried rice. This is locally known simply as steamed rice. Yes, you heard me, steamed rice. Don't worry, when you're in Cebu and you're in Dim Sum and you ask for steamed rice, they will not give you this kind of rice. Instead, they will give you this, a sort of rice topping. That is Cebu fact right there. Guys, this is it. This is the Dim Sum Break. This is their steamed rice. Mm. All these years, it has always had the consistent taste, the flavor of the steamed rice. Always brings that nostalgic feel every time you come here. It brings me back to my childhood days. The pork is tender and it, it just has that unique taste that the Dim Sum Break brand can offer. This is the, the spring roll or the, some Filipinos call it lumpia or the Chinese lumpia. Spring rolls have thin crispy wrapper with shrimp, mincemeat and vegetables inside. Your steamed rice should be paired with this. Mm. This is their sweet and sour dip. Complements well with the uh, spring roll. Really good. This is the quail egg shomai. The quail egg shomai also goes so well with your steamed rice. dip is slightly spicy it's got oil some sesame oil also I guess this could be chili garlic as well mm. I'll post a link here to one of the best shomai here in Cebu so this is their chigar so this is similar to the chigar that they have there in, uh, in a shomai sapisa they also have a ginger dip. This is off the menu. And if you'd like that ginger kick, it's like a sweet and uh, gingery spice uh, flavor. It's, it's pretty unique. It's got a little sourness into it. It matches really well with your uh, Chinese food. Yeah. Now guys, back in the late 80s and 90s, before the fast food boom here in Cebu, Dim Sum has always been one of the places for families to go out and have their Chinese food fix. I'm sure a lot of um, Cebuanos who grew up back in those times would surely reminisce and feel nostalgic whenever they would visit any Dim Sum break branch. 
over the years they have um, transformed themselves and innovated. I remember um, there was a dim sum place in Colon Street was called Ding Hao. And there was one in uh, Fuente Osmeña. It was called it was called the Ding Kwa Kwa. So Cebuanos who grew up with those um, dim sum places, uh, shout out to all of you guys, the young people. There was a time when I went to Manila and growing up in Cebu and knowing that the steamed rice is very popular here in Cebu. So I was assuming that they also have it uh, in other places in the Philippines. So when I went to Manila, later on I discovered that it was only in Cebu. There was also a friend of mine who went to a dim sum place in Manila and he ordered steamed rice. And to his surprise, he was served the regular steamed white rice. He was expecting his steamed rice to be like this. Because automatically, when you say steamed rice here in Cebu, this is what we mean. I remembered when I was working in Manila, when I had to visit Cebu like um, only a couple of times in a year. So whenever I am Cebu, the dim sum or the steamed rice is always on my list for uh, the food to, to eat whenever I come home to Cebu. It's something that I look forward to whenever I come home to Cebu. Hi to all my new viewers, new subscribers, and also hello to my regular viewers and regular subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for always being here. Second bowl of steamed rice. So good. Other than the pork, it also has uh, some tiny shrimps. Such Chinese goodness. And that was it guys, that was my awesome dim sum break experience. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and click the like button. Share this video out there, leave a comment, and please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps a lot and I appreciate it very much. And remember, life is not a straight line, but a zigzag. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but always keep moving forward.